Okay. David, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm, I'm really excited to speak with you today. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, um, we're going to have fun. I'm going to ask you some questions that might be a little hard, but I'm, I'm going to try to keep it as light as possible. Sure. So, Jade, right? Fans have really, really connected with Jade, whether it's because of his sarcasm, his intelligence, or his vulnerability. He definitely just stands out from the rest of the characters. Did you draw inspiration from any real life figures, any famous fictional characters, or maybe just your own personal experiences to help bring him to life? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, I wish I could say that I was that creative. I'm absolutely not. I, a lot of it has to do with the script. The writing is it, it's, it's all on the page. Also there was, there were things about certain people in my life that when I read the script, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of this and that. And just, it, it kind of came together. It felt seamless. And after a while, I just felt very aligned with the character and it felt intuitive. And it happened a lot faster than it does with a lot of other characters. So there's something there. Yeah. Hmm. Next question. Um, sure. If you had to predict Jade's role in the end game of From. Do you think he'll be the one, and this is your own personal opinion, do you think he'll be the one to crack the mystery or could his obsession ultimately lead to his downfall? Yeah, that's really interesting. Could it be hubris? Um, well, there's really two questions there. Like, what is the end game of the show? I have no idea. And what is Jade's ultimate participation in that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's very likely that his enthusiasm for solving problems gets him into trouble. Um, but uh, also, uh, Anthony, how much have you seen? How much of season three have you watched? I've gotten as far as episode seven. I'm kind of okay. pacing oh, myself. Well, anything for you. Um, it's, uh, it, the show takes a very interesting turn towards the end of the season. And that's not spoiling anything. That's just a fact. Um, uh, how does, how does Jade, how can Jade possibly, oof, um, I think the stakes are a lot higher for Jade going into season four, if God willing, the audience and the studio give us a season four. And, um, I think in terms of his intensity, I don't think we've seen the last of Jade. I think that things happen that make him even more committed to solving the puzzle and to an eventually, like eventually succeeding to get out of there. I hope that's my, that's my, that's my sort of, that's my suspicion. But again, uncorroborated. <laughs> the writers don't tell me anything. I'm the last to find that. Okay. Well, Jade's interactions, let's talk a little bit more about with other characters, particularly with Boyd and Tabitha, right? Mm -hmm. These interactions, they're often tense, but they're, they're layered with complexity. Can you talk about how Jade's relationships have evolved over the course of the season and what working with actors like Harold and Catalina is like? Oh, it's a dream. I mean, it's a dream to work with actors like Harold and Catalina, but also like everybody in the cast. This is this cast. This is an ensemble cast. It's the closest I felt to um, working on stage, doing theater that I felt in front of a camera in the 20 plus years that I've been doing this. These are very talented actors and beautiful people. Like they're just so nice and everybody gets along. I feel like I'm being pranked. You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't make sense. Everybody's so great. Um, I do finally have a couple scenes with Harold this season. Um, and we counted like not since season one where he, we were at the flower and rock ceremony in episode three, where, you know, we have like a big interaction. Um, but it is good. It's, it's great to see more people interacting with more people this season, whereas previously, and I, and I, and I wonder if this was as a consequence of writing uh, in a way that would protect us from COVID by like basically siloing characters mm -hmm. so that 
certain characters only worked with certain characters so that if anything went wrong we could isolate and we could like figure that out and you know like i worked a lot with uh scott accord previously and then this season jade starts to interact with more people that was kind of cool um the the story arc with tabitha obviously it starts to uh it springboards and it starts to flourish as as um as as a wedge you know is driven between her between tabitha and jim it feels as though to me that she instinctively you know with ethan in tow comes to jade to sort of say hey look we have similar cause here like we need to get out of here and it seems like you're the only person actively doing anything about that as opposed to just maintaining the status quo or the peace or just trying to get along with the monsters like you need to get out of here i need to get out of here i've been out of here i need to get out of here again and let's work together and figure this out i think that's really interesting um and jade obviously also has like these one-off moments with characters like bakta um you know tom the bartender like all these characters where we see a different side of him we don't see the showman we see the you know focused on you you know how do i relate to you he's underneath it all there are so many layers like you said he is all of these things and i love playing him for that reason because he's not just one note on a keyboard he's like he's multiple chords and if you listen you can hear notes over here notes over there and it all it, it all becomes this one human so it's yeah it's been so much fun to play and also again you got to give credit where it's due it's like the writers have really been patient and crafted this story over a long period something like three seasons 30 episodes so jade gets to be this and that and this and that and at the end of it we see who he is um which is hard to do when you've got like you know 90 minutes to tell the story in a movie or you know two hours like 30 hours is a different ball game well thank you so very much you gave me such beautiful answers i'm i'm, I'm very excited for the rest of the season hopefully a season four um but thank you so much for your time david thank you anthony i appreciate it have thank a great day you too